What if I told you that I had a magic potion that if you drank it, you could alleviate headaches, constipation, asthma, allergies, chronic fatigue, joint pain, and more. Would you drink it? Okay, do I need to give you more information about it? Okay, fine. So, what if I told you it didn't taste like anything and you could drink it hot or cold all day long and your symptoms would be alleviated immensely? What if I told you that it was really cheap too? Like you could get it really cheap. What if I told you that it could alleviate your need for maybe some of the medications that you're on? Would you be interested in it? Maybe? I felt so strongly that I need to make this video today because so many people are out there, they're sick, they're in pain, and they just don't understand all they need is hydration. So let's talk hydration 101. So almost all of us were taught when we were young that we're comprised of 60 to 75% water. But what most people don't know is that you actually lose up to three quarts of water a day. That means we lose water through perspiration, through breathing, and in our urine. So what happens if we're losing three quarts of water a day and we're not even taking in three quarts of water a day. Your body recycles dirty, contaminated, toxic water. So how do you think that fares on your organs? Your lungs need water. So your lungs are moistened with water. So if your body doesn't have enough water for your lungs, what happens is your histamine level goes up and it can cause allergies and asthma. You need water when you're cold and when you're hot. It keeps you cool in the summer and warm in the winter. So if you're having body temperature issues, water is probably the first thing you want to address. Me, your brain needs Our brains are 90% water. So if you are dehydrated, headaches are the first sign that you are dehydrated. And what follows that is fatigue and depression. Your heart needs water. Your heart is 75% water. Increasing your water intake can help improve with high cholesterol and high blood pressure. Your kidneys need water. Your kidneys are constantly filtering your blood. If there isn't enough water for your kidneys, they can't clean your blood, and over time they may become damaged. Your digestive system needs water. Your digestive system needs Your digestive system needs water to properly digest food. Gastritis, heartburn, IBS, and constipation may all be improved by increasing your water intake. Joints need water. Your, your joints all use water for cushioning. Arthritic pain may be relieved by increasing your water intake. Your back needs water. Your In order to move, your vertebrae depends on the hydraulic properties of water to properly move. Lower back pain is a common indicator of dehydration. When you are pregnant, you're not only eating for two, you're drinking for two. Amniotic fluid is constantly replenished every three hours. And if you're not drinking enough water or you're severely hydrated, it actually can cause preterm labor. Your kids need water. Your Children need water so badly. Their growing bodies actually need proportionately more water than adults. You need to drink water so you know you need to drink water. Your thirst reflex actually shuts down when it's dehydrated. So what happens is a lot of people confuse that for hunger and they actually eat more. That's why they tell you to drink a glass of water whenever you're hungry. When you start drinking more water, you actually become thirstier because it reactivates your thirst reflex and you start drinking the amount of water that you actually need to drink for your body to be healthy. How much water? People should start. So if you weigh 180 pounds, 90 ounces of water would be good for you. So for someone like me that likes to carry lots of water with them, I get the 40 ounce Hydro Flask and aim at three of these a day just to compensate for working out and taking care of my kiddos. Drink more. 
On the days that you exercise, you actually want to drink two thirds of your body weight in ounces instead of half to compensate for the extra perspiration. Don't drink tea and coffee and think it counts. Cause guess what? You're gonna pee it out ounce for ounce. So other beverages. Other beverages do not replace water. Many people say, well, if you're eating fruit or drinking other beverages, that counts for your water intake. It does not. Many beverages, coffee, caffeinated drinks, teas, sodas, those things actually have to be metabolized by your body and a lot of them are diuretics. So they're actually taking away water from the body. So there is no replacement for clean filtered water. So what type of water should we drink? I get this question all the time and I'm gonna go through all of that with you in detail. So I have done years and years of water research because I wanted to know what the best cleanest water would be for me and my family. Having a sick child, uh, the first thing all of our naturopath, our pediatrician, uh, nutritionist, everybody said is that you need to be drinking good clean filtered water. And so I went on the hunt to find the best purifier on the market and um, through much, much research, my nutritionist, my doctor, my naturopath, they all told me the same thing. They said, get a multi-pure. They said the company is on the cutting edge of always making sure they're reducing contaminants in the water. It's all they do. Water, your tap water can contain lead. If you live in Oregon, um, the lead in just my area is up to 14 parts per million and 15 parts per million is considered toxic. Little organic compounds, you're drinking all the pesticides, and herbicides, you're drinking all kinds of contaminants that actually bog down your body. Now we're using water to actually cleanse our body and what happens is if you're not filtering your water, your body becomes the filter. All of those things get lodged in your body and your body has to work so hard to clean the water, it can't do the job that it needs to do. And that's why I choose using a multi-pure water filter. And the biggest difference from using like, you know, like the Brita style filters or the, um, loose granular carbon filters are, is they have this loose carbon. And this is what they run through. It's not actually a filter, it's just loose carbon. And what that does is it takes away some of the contaminants and it takes away some of the chlorine in the water. So it gives you a better tasting water. It reduces the amount of contaminants, but it's not actually a real filter. So what the difference is between multi-pure and that is they actually use a carbon block filter. So this is what one looks like that's cut in half. It actually has to travel through the outside, through all of these layers of carbon. It removes the filter down to a half of a micron, which is like taking a slice of hair and cutting it up into 200 pieces. The Aqualux is certified for 82 contaminants and also takes care of bacteria, viruses, and arsenic. So one Aquaversa filter cartridge that costs $69.95 that you replace once a year replaces over 8,000 12 ounce bottles of water. I mean, like think about the impact on the environment all of those bottles of water have. 8,000 bottles of water. Whether the housing is stainless steel or plastic, it has a lifetime guarantee as long as you are changing the filter every year. And the great thing about Multipure is when you compare the pricing to the models on the market that actually seem like they're less expensive, they end up being more expensive than the Multipure. So when you break down the map, you end up getting the best price for your water. You get the cleanest water on the market. It's the number one NSF certified filter on the market for removing contaminants. And it's always been in that place because they're always doing cutting edge research to continually add contaminants that are removing, the water filters better and better. So you're getting the best, cleanest water, you're getting at the most affordable price, and uh, it is probably the best decision that you can make for your family. And educating all your children on hydration. My kids are so excited about drinking water, and you really just have to get them whatever they get excited about to drink water with. So I get my kids straw cups because kids tend to drink two to three times more water when they are offered a cup that has a straw on it because it's less work, it's easier to drink, and they're not spilling it on themselves, they're not wasting, and it's just, it's faster for them. So getting them straw cups, you can get hydro flasks, they now have the straw lids, and this, you can keep your water nice and cold and drink it all day long. And for me, I love drinking three of these a day and knowing that I'm gonna be hydrated when my skin is dry or I'm having, uh, you know, sore throat symptoms, I just add an extra bottle a day to my drinking and the sore throat goes away. 
the dry skin goes away and people are always asking me my health, my secret to healthy skin. And you know, it's eating a clean diet and drinking tons and tons of pure clean water. And you know, you will see a difference. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, post them below and I will be sure to answer them. They're the best cleanest water on the market out there that can make you the healthiest. And I work with people with the weakest immune system. So I try to find things that are the uh, most safe on the market for everybody. So uh, thank you for watching. Post questions below and have a wonderful day. Stay hydrated. peeing a lot and sometimes you have a little dive sometimes you have a little dive there'll be a couple days maybe you want to kill me maybe you want to pee every time you see a dog pee and maybe you want to pee every time you see a bathroom and maybe you need to pee every bathroom you see but that's okay your body will get used to it your bladder will change it will expand it'll get used to it if you have some headaches at first they'll go away that's called die off from all of those bacteria and toxins leaving your body. And then it leaves you feeling good and your skin gets clear and beautiful and you become happy and healthy and depression and headaches start to fade away and it cures so many issues. And it's just simple, clean, pure water. And that's what we're here to talk about today.